Hello Aries and welcome to Lotus Spirit Tarot. My name is Shannon Colleen and this is going to be your 2024 love and romance reading. Before we get started, I do want to let you know I will attach the other 2024 readings to the end of this, so your financial one, um, and you can watch that after you are done. So we are going to get an overall energy, see what the stars have aligned for you, Aries. Uh, in the financial readings, I use the same deck because they have a love section and a prosperity section. So I was called to use the same deck for the um, overall energy. Uh, also, Aries, if you are interested in a personal reading, yes, I am available. Wow, something's going to happen. I don't know if you guys just saw that. You might want to rewind. The candle went way, way down and then... Pff, so big explosion of love for you in some shape or form. Uh, as I was saying, I am available for personal readings at this time. If you would like to hear directly from your angels, guides, and ancestors, click on the description box below, click the more button, and my link to my website, my booking site is there. All right. Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy for Aries for Love 2024, Love and Romance? Can we just have one or two, please? Or one. I said one or two. I really just want one. Uh, show me clearly. What is the Love 2024 for Aries? Love and Romance, please. Yeah, see, you might be feeling stuck. Even if you're already in a relationship, you might be feeling stuck. Or if you haven't found someone, because these cards are sticking a little bit here. Show me. Oh, Oh my goodness, Aries, what is going on here? Can I just have one or two? Can I just have one? Maybe it's me, because I'm, I'm asking for one or two, and I really just want one. Thank you. Whew. To the sea. I really like this. So, I'm going to read these as if you are in a relationship already, or if you're single. It's going to be pretty much kind of the same, okay? What I mean by this is your connection with the person you are with or the connection that is coming in is highly spiritual with the number seven, okay? This is a very spiritual connection. Probably have been together in past lives, okay? Very, uh, very tied in emotionally, okay? Because we got the water element here. So you guys will be very tied together emotionally um, in a very good way. It's almost like For those of you who are single, it's like it, it, this. Um, yes, there can be romance and sexual things and all that, that passion and that fire. OK, I'm not saying that that won't be there, but this is on a much deeper level. It's just like not that you ever need anybody to complete you, but it's kind of that feeling like you complete me. Right. Jerry Maguire. Right. Like you complete me. If you're in a relationship, it's a renewal of why you got together in the first place. Right? It's that emotional connection. I love it. So we're going to read from the book, just like we did for the finance readings. So let's go to seven. Ooh, open right up to it. It says here, there are points in a relationship when you have to decide to go with the flow rather than dictate the course you share with one another. Can you let go of the need to have things your way and allow the relationship itself, your combined goals and desires to steer the ship? Can you both transcend your personalities to allow the partnership to form its own identity, its own energy? Now is the time to relax and see where this mutual journey leads. So I really love this because it does talk about returning to the flow of your relationship. It does talk about if you're in a current relationship or if it, this is new that's coming in for you about being able to... Uh, have the three identities, <laughs> okay? Your identity, your goals, your dreams, your partner's goals, dreams, their identity, and then the identity of the relationship. And not everything that you have and not everything that your partner or soon-to-be partner has has to go into the relationship, okay? And I use this as an example. Some of you will know who they are. I cannot remember their names, but there is this uh, political couple that actually lives here in Louisiana. They're very well known. Uh, and she is a big time Republican. He is a big time Democrat. And they have been together for decades. Because they don't let their 
different views, right, lead the relationship or be a part of that relationship. They are allowed to have their own opinions. They are allowed to have their own interests. And that is what has let them uh, prosper in this relationship. So again, if you're new, if this is a new person coming in, that's really wonderful because you don't have to figure that out. They allow you to be you, you allow them to be them, and you allow the relationship to bloom. If you are in a relationship, it's coming back to that and realizing, oh my gosh, we don't have to do everything together. We don't have to uh, agree with each other's opinions. That's true love, right? And we can let the relationship, once again, bloom into what it's supposed to be. So this is really beautiful for you. Let's see what we have in the tarot. It's deeply, like really, if you're already in a relationship and you felt stuck or there was that kind of like, you have to think, see things my way on this or that or the other, that you come to the realiz realization that, that you wouldn't want somebody to do that to you. Or your partner realizes they wouldn't want somebody to do that to them. And that you are seriously allowed to be your individual selves. And then to also have, again, the relationship go in its own flow. It's very nice. Show me clearly, please, for Aries. That's too many. Can I just have one or two? Show me clearly for Aries. But again, if you are doubting your connection with this person, because I don't feel like, well, I am going to say because spirit just corrected me. If you're not feeling that spiritual connection with someone you are in a relationship with, I will tell you, you will part ways. Okay? So some of you, and you already know it, so it's not like devastating to you. I'm not telling you anything new. You know what resonates with you. Okay? You know where you're going. However, if you are deciding to leave a relationship, because that spiritual connection is not there, they will come in. The new person will come in, okay? So I guess this is going three different ways, right? Three different ways, because you're all in different situations. Show me clearly, please. What do we have for Aries in love, angels, guides, ancestors, 2024? Thank you. Wow, okay. The page of pentacles I really like here. For singles, whoever this is that's coming in because there's news, like you might have a friend say, hey, do you know my coworker is interested in you? Uh, however this news comes in, it is a very stable offer. This is not, you know, fly by night, hey, let's just hook up kind of thing. This is someone who wants to build something with you. Again, if you are already in a relationship and you leave that relationship, this is what's waiting for you. If you are in a good relationship, but things have felt a little stuck, this is the new beginning of new stability, of new connection with that person. You might learn something about your person, and you could be with them for 30 years, and you never knew this about them. So, And it brings you guys together. It brings you like a new building block, okay? And you also have, I love it. I love the Seven of Wands coming out. Because again, you guys are allowing each other, right, to be your unique self. You're allowing each other to not, you know, it's like you're not forcing your ways or and they're not forcing their ways on you, right? So obviously this is giving me yoga, right, vibes. So if you're into yoga, your person doesn't have to be. And that's okay. And I, I, I love this kind of loving because there's a very much a spiritual end, but there's a practical end to it. There's a practical thing here going like, yeah, we don't have to have all the same interests. Our, our uniqueness is what brings us together. And again, another seven. So a highly spiritual connection here. Okay, highly, highly spiritual. I dare to say you have definitely been with this person before, okay, in a past life. Some of you, this could be someone from your past coming back in. Like, uh, you know, you go to a high school reunion and one of your old, you know, 
boyfriends, girlfriends, whatever, is single, you're single, and wow, you come back together. You always had this connection. That's not going to be for everybody, obviously. But there is this reuniting of the spiritual connection, whether it's in a current relationship, a new relationship, a past life relationship. It's this coming together. Show me clearly. Thank you. Wow, look at these sevens. Seven, seven, seven. Such a spiritual connection. I can't get over it. This seven of cups would normally be like, oh, I have all these options and I don't know which one to choose, right? That's normally, that's the confusion. But with this one, it, it feels more like I intuitively know, my soul knows I'm supposed to be with this person, right? Because he's not looking at all these other cups. So he's touching, he's feeling, he is staring at this one cup. So again, I think for those of you who are single, you know immediately when you meet this person that there is just a connection you can't explain. For those of you in a current relationship, it's like a renewal of that spiritual connection. Sometimes we let life get in the way, right, of that beautiful connection we have. So there's like some sort of renewal. Maybe even some of you doing a renewal of vows. But these sevens are amazing. Show me clearly. Woo, all right. Oh my gosh. Two of cups. What did I say? Soulmate energy. Soulmate wisdom, uh, previous lives, been together in previous lives, it's there. It is coming for you. For a lot of you, if you are looking at love readings, you're probably not in a relationship, right? So this is coming in for you. Again, for those of you who are and are like, I'm not sure where this is going, you have to fi figure out what Spirit is telling you right now as far as the connection goes. Do you intuitively know that there is a soulmate out there for you and it's not the person you're with? Or do you intuitively know that you are supposed to be with the person you're with and you just have to reconnect? Love it. Show me clearly for Aries. Show me clearly for Aries, please. What is the love message for Aries? We're not taking that one. But we are taking the one that came face down. The Four of Swords. You're putting your heart out there. I love that. You're not letting your mind control you. You're not putting up walls. You're open to love. You are very relaxed, which allows this love to come in. I, I really do. You're putting your heart out there. You're not afraid to put your heart out there. You've healed from past heartaches and you're ready for love because the four of swords is the rest after the war and the war was maybe the past hurts that you hadn't healed from and you put up walls and you got too protective with your heart now you love yourself so much you know yourself so much that you can put yourself out there i love it show me clearly thank you oh well i was gonna take them but there's like 10 cards there all right, exaggeration. There was like four. <laughs> Show me clearly. Thank you. There it is. Look at that. I, th this is a destined connection. I told you, soulmate. You're supposed to be together. Okay, so you are. It is coming. It's, it's karmic and it's destined. It's fate. So you know what portion of this reading is for you, whether you're single or in a relationship, right? You know. You intuitively know. Others of you, you're taking the gamble, right? Like, I'm again, I'm going to put my heart out there. Because without the risk, then you, we're not going to find love. Because it's like, you know, I think we've all said it. So I don't want to, like, throw anybody under the bus. But it's like when people say, oh, I'm never going to date again. Right? Well, then you're never going to find anybody. <laughs> so I think you're ready to move forward. I think your heart is open and you're willing to take the risk. And because you do so, the divine... And your spiritual team and their spiritual team are making the path for you to come together or making you making the path for you to come together again. It's it's quite lovely because it's such, like I said, a spiritual connection here. 
I can't get over how you guys connect. Okay, very telepathic. Speaking to each other with a look of the eye, right? I love it. Let's see what else we have for you. What do we have for Aries, please? Show me clearly for Aries. What is the message for Aries regarding love, 2024? Also, I would tell you, Aries, check it out your other placements, okay? So your moon, your rising. But I would definitely check out your Venus. I said the same thing in the finance readings because Venus does rule love and money. Love very much so, right? So whatever your Venus placement is, maybe your Venus placement is Cancer. Go watch the Cancer love reading then. Show me clearly. Too many. Can I have one, please? Can I have one card, please? Angels, guides, ancestors, thank you. Express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. Uh... You are either going to give a gift to someone that you care about deeply, right, romantically, and that might start the wheel spinning. They may give you something, right? So that could be someone bringing you flowers. That could be just about anything. But that's how it starts, right? There's just this one expression through a small gift that says, hey, I like you. <laughs> right so and I appreciate you I love this so so beautiful all right Aries all of my love light and blessings to you until next time